The episode begins with Poe, the Dragon Master, talking about his achievements and how he has defeated China's most evil villains. He says his next quest is a food tour around China, and Mr. Ping, his father, tells him he deserves to go. Ping asks him where he'll go first, and he says he'll go to the Wangku village, which is home to the Wu Gao Gauntlet. Poe begins his journey through several towns and villages where several people celebrate him and give him free food. Poe arrives at Wangku village, and as he walks to a famous restaurant, several people around him and ask for his autograph. The people overwhelm him, and the restaurant owner asks him to enter a closet. She locks the closet, and Klaus and Veruca, two evil convicts, arrive at the village and attempt to steal the gauntlet. The guards try to stop them, and Poe attempts to leave the room as he hears the noise. He breaks through the wall and accidentally causes Klaus and Veruca to escape their restraint. They attempt to steal the gauntlet, but Poe gets to it and puts it on. He punches the floor as he lands, and the gauntlet's power destroys the village. Klaus and Veruca emerge, and as they struggle to take the gauntlet, a finger breaks off. But they still take it. Poe pursues them, but sees a strange person who he assumes is their partner. They get to a cart, and the strange person cuts the line. Poe fights them on the cart, but they jump off as he gets stuck on a cliff. Veruca punches the ground and Poe falls into the water. He gets out of the water, enters the town, and sees the damage he has caused. He tries to help, but the villagers are upset and ignore him. The restaurant owner arrives, tells Poe he is no longer welcome in the town because of the damage he has caused, and asks him to leave. Poe begins his journey home and notices that no one likes him anymore. He gets home and Ping hugs him. Poe asks for a bowl of noodles, and Ping says everybody's talking about how he accidentally destroyed a village and let criminals steal an ancient artifact. He says that the Emperor has taken away his Dragon Master title. Poe screams in sadness. And they see one of the bandits. Poe rushes to fight him, and he pulls out a sword. The bandit knocks him down, and Ping throws several dumplings at him. Poe uses the distraction to fight back, but the bandit knocks him down again. Poe begs him not to kill him, and the bandit takes off his helmet and reveals herself as a girl. She introduces herself as Sir Luthera from England. She says she's looking for the Dragon Knight, and Poe says he's the one she's looking for. Luthera says that Klaus and Veruca are dangerous criminals who escaped from London. She says they need to be stopped from using the gauntlet or it would affect the world. Poe asks her to join, but she refuses, and he convinces her by saying that China's large and it will be difficult to navigate the country alone. She says she'll be camping under a tree and leave the next morning. Poe celebrates and packs that night. He falls asleep and wakes up in the morning, rushing to the tree, but doesn't see Luthera and decides to search for her. Poe going around and searching for Luthera, Klaus and Veruca continuing their journey, and Klaus scolds her that she plays with the gauntlet. They cross a lava bridge and get ambushed by some reptiles. Klaus asks them for directions to the Lotus, but their leader says no one crosses their bridge and land without paying a fine. He sees Veruca wearing the Wu Gao gauntlet and says he wants it because it's pretty. She says he can have it, activates it, and destroys everything around them. Poe complains as he searches for Luthera and complains because she left him. He sees her at a distance, but the gauntlet finger activates and drags him to the bottom of the hill. Luthera tells him she left because the sun rose three hours ago, and Poe convinces her to let him tag along by saying he could catch up to her in an hour. They sit and rest, and Poe gives her some chili to taste. She attacks him because it's too hot and thinks he poisoned her. Luthera calms down after drinking water and Poe sits beside her. She tells him about her sword and other great weapons that knights had. She also says that Klaus and Veruca are evil mages who attempted to kill the Queen of England but were stopped. She says they wanted to use the gauntlet's power to finish their mission and she has to stop them. Luthera and Poe continue their journey and she says she'll have to serve him if he wants to be her page. They arrive at the Lava River, but see that the bridge is missing. They see a gauntlet crater on the other side, and Poe accidentally drops her helmet in the lava. Luthera gets angry and tells Poe to go home because he has wasted her time. He stands by the river, summons Inner Peace, moves across several rocks, and gets to the other side. He throws a rope at her and holds it as she walks on it. The lizards arrive and surround Poe. Poe tells Luthera he has a history with them, and they attack him. 
Poe holds the rope while he fights the lizard and Luthera makes her way across the rope. They begin to attack her as she walks, but she narrowly gets across. A lizard steals Luthera's sword as they run and she climbs up a wall as she tries to retrieve it. Poe tells her they must work together to achieve their goals and she agrees. She pushes them to the lizard and says he's surrounded because they've knocked out the other lizards. The lizard realizes the sword's made from the black steel of Equinox and says he will be rich if he sells it. Several lizards emerge from the wall and push them down. Poe pushes Luthera and uses his inner piece to balance on a rock and move on them. He knocks down several lizards and gets to the one holding the sword. Poe punches him and sends him flying as he retrieves the sword. He lands beside Luthera. He tries to return her sword, but the gauntlet's finger activates, making him swing the sword around. They watch as a town gets destroyed by the gauntlet and realize that the finger gets activated when it is used. Poe gives Luthera her sword and she says she's impressed. He asks if she needs him, but she says she doesn't and says she needs his thumb as they stare at the destroyed village. A hedgehog named Zen, falling asleep as she writes on a scroll, an elder hedgehog enters and instructs her to place the scroll in the library if she is done with it. She swings on a stick and puts the scroll into a hole in a large tower. Zen overhears Klaus and Veruca and sees as they steal a scroll. They descend from the tower and Veruca uses the gauntlet to destroy the town. Meanwhile, Poe and Luthera watch as the gauntlet's finger activates and see as the town is destroyed. They arrive at the town and save several people as the towers crumble. They stop a tower from collapsing and the people who are monks come out and celebrate. They thank him for saving the scrolls and Elder Huang says that the scrolls contain China's history. They say Poe's a hero and their dragon master and say that emperors come and go, but he will remain. Luthera asks the monks if they know who attacked their town, and they say they captured Klaus and Veruca. Huang permits them to see the criminals, and they swing on long sticks and into the prison. Poe and Luthera enter a room, but realize that the person Huang captured is Zen. Huang says Zen has been a thorn in her side and assures them she's the culprit. Luthera says they should leave, but Zen tells them she saw Klaus and Veruca. She says she will help them if they help her escape, but Poe refuses because she's a prisoner. Luthera tells him he has no choice because they have to stop Klaus and Veruca from attacking other cities. That night, Poe sneaks into the town and hangs several sticks. He uses the sticks to make his way into the prison and meets Zen. He tries opening the lock, but the stone breaks and he doesn't know what to do. Poe tries to be quiet as some guards play a game and he decides to carry Zen while she's in the cage. The guards see what's happening and Poe tries to hide her, but they say he's trying to help their guard escape. Poe tells the guards he's taking the prisoner to the Imperial Guards himself. Meanwhile, Luthera waits for Poe, but he doesn't see him, and she sees the Imperial Guards. Poe continues talking to the guards and distracts them as he escapes with Zen. He swings on a stick and Luthera cuts it as the Imperial Guards arrive. Poe falls to the ground and the cage lands on the Imperial Guards wagon. They mock Poe as they leave and he apologizes to Luthera. She confronts the guards and tells them to hand Zen over. The guards refuse and say she won't be able to stop them because they outnumber her. She tries to fight, but they knock her down and Poe helps. He says he doesn't want to hurt anyone, but proceeds to fight and defeat them with Luthera helping him. They free Zen from the cage and escape before the guards wake up. They escape into the woods and Zen informs them she saw Klaus and Veruca stealing a scroll. Zen tells them how the world was united as one continent and how the people who lived in it could control the elements. A group came together and decided to rule the world with an iron fist. Some warriors forged four powerful weapons that could trap the evil rulers. But after trapping them, the power of the weapons divided the continent into the world we know today. The weapons, which were a helmet, a whip, a gauntlet, and an unknown weapon, were scattered so no one could wield their power. Poe realizes that Klaus and Veruca are trying to gather all the weapons. The Imperial Guard search for the trio and Zen uses fireworks to distract them. Poe and Luthera escape and Poe realizes that the flaming whip sounds familiar. They read through his comic book and as it is about to reveal where the whip is, it says to be continued. The Imperial Guards entering the Emperor's room, their leader informs him that Poe attacked them while trying to retrieve a criminal. The Emperor says that an attack on his guards is an attack on him and China and says Poe cannot be forgiven. He tells the Imperial Guards that they have failed him and that he will find someone else to apprehend Poe. The Emperor rings a gong and summons the Forbidden Company. The reptiles emerge and he instructs them to apprehend Poe. Their leader spits acid on the floor and says going after Poe will be fun. 
Poe and Luthera continue their journey and she says she can't let a comic book direct her on her journey. She says the story might not be based on the actual weapons, and Poe tells her the story of Longfang, who wielded the whip. She decided to destroy or hide the whip when the war ended so that no one could wield its power. Poe says the author is an expert on history and suggests they meet the author and ask him about the whip. They make their way to a town where the author, Li Gao, resides. The reptiles continue searching for Poe and Luthera. Luthera sees a poster that says the Emperor wants Poe. She tells Poe to stay out of the town so she won't attract people's attention. While she questions Li Gao, Poe stands at the gate as she watches and he gets an idea as he sees some bamboo. He disguises himself as a bamboo warrior and enters the town. Luthera sees him and tells him to keep a low profile so people don't realize who he is. Poe gets distracted as he sees some comic books. A little girl sees Luthera and tries to play with her. She touches her sword, realizes she is a real warrior, and isn't cosplaying. Poe asks Luthera why she let the girl touch it and she says the girl is just a child and not a threat. Meanwhile, the reptiles see a man with a cart and force him to tell them where Poe is headed. Poe and Luthera arrive at Li Gao's house and watch as his son uses water to pursue other people. He says his father is dead and the fans should leave him alone. He tells Poe and Luthera to leave or he will sound a bell to alert the guards. Poe tries to convince him by saying that they have to find the whip if they want to save China. But Gao's son says he's lying. He says no one is getting into the workshop or touching the final issue and pours water on Poe. Poe laughs as he stands up and tells Luthera that the boy admitted there is a final issue in the workshop. Luthera sneaks into the workshop and Poe follows her. They find the final issue and as they stare at it, Lao enters the room. He uses a crossbow to ring the bell and the reptiles hear it. Lao sees as they drag the comic and freaks out as he tries to retrieve it. He eventually gets the comic as he is about to burn and says he hasn't read it. He talks about how he and his dad read the comics together, but he won't have any other comics to read because his dad is dead. Luthera pulls out her sword and says it's all she has left of her brother. She says she refused to use it because using it would prove that her brother would never come back. She urges him not to keep the comic a secret because it can save the world and says she understands his pain. Lao agrees to read the book and asks Luthera to read with him. They see that Long Fang didn't dispose of the whip but hid it in the Lost City. She asks if he knows where the Lost City is, and he remembers a picture of him and his dad. He compares the picture to a drawing and remembers a town he visited with his dad. He gives them directions to the town and they thank him. Poe and Luthera leave the town and she tells him how Klaus and Veruca killed her brother while he tried to arrest them. She says she can't be his friend because she would choose the mission over him if she had to choose. The Forbidden Company arrives and says that Poe is under arrest. Poe tells Luthera that they are deadly and he tries to explain to them that he wants to save China. A fight ensues and Luthera knocks down a reptile. It attacks a child and she saves him, but gets knocked down. Poe gets distracted and gets knocked down. The reptiles apprehend him and take him away. Luthera gets up and sees the map and decides to continue the mission. The reptile struggling to push Poe up a hill. He talks about how he thought he and Luthera were friends, but she chose the mission over him. One of the reptiles say being in a one-sided friendship is bad and their leader asks him to shut up. A strange person arrives and walks toward them as they wonder who he is. Luthera walks through the woods and sees the kid she saved. The kid says Luthera saved her, so she owes Luthera her life. Luthera asks the girl to leave, but she refuses and follows her as she continues walking. Klaus and Veruca walk through the desert as they search for the whip. They argue about how Klaus left Veruca in prison for 15 years and a sandstorm emerges. He ties them up and one tries to spit acid at him, but he dodges. He walks toward Poe who is still in the cage and Poe pushes himself down the hill. The cage moves very fast and he struggles to stop it. He stops it as it reaches the edge of a cliff, but the edge collapses and he falls to the ground. The cage opens and Poe leaves as he realizes that Luthera isn't around to give him instructions. The little girl asks Luthera where Poe is and she says she left him behind because she is on a mission. She makes the girl promise to take her to the spice market and return home immediately. Poe walks through the woods and wonders which way is south. He sees the young reptile named Wyman, who tells him his rope was loose and he ran away. He tells Poe what direction is south and decides to follow him. Poe reminds Wyman he tried to arrest him twice and he apologizes. They talk about Luthera and Poe says she isn't mean but tough. They arrive at a crossroad and Poe decides to follow the path on the right. Luthera and Rabia arrive at the town and she asks Rabia to return home. Klaus and Veruca find a city as they walk through the desert and celebrate as they rush to it. 
Wyman carries Poe as he talks about being irresponsible. He asks Poe not to call himself irresponsible and they see the spice market. They swing on a vine to get to it, but the vine cuts and they fall to the ground. Klaus and Veruca enter the town and decide to stock up. Veruca makes Klaus choke, which serves as a distraction while she steals from the people. Poe eats noodles and realizes that Veruca's robbing the people. He tries to help, but realizes he's cuffed to the stall. Wyman informs him he wants to hand him over to the Emperor himself. Poe says he thought they were friends, and Wyman says he was just telling Poe what he wanted to hear. Poe gets angry and knocks Wyman down with the stall. He pursues Klaus and Veruca as they run, and Luthera sees them. She tries to grab them as they jump over her but misses, and they continue running. Luthera sees Poe as they pursue the siblings and is surprised he escaped. He runs ahead of her and tries to stop Klaus and Veruca, but they make fun of him and escape. Luthera separates Poe from the cart as Wyman attacks and it crashes. She gets to Veruca, holds her down, and asks her if she remembers her. Veruca remembers when Luthera was a little girl, and as Luthera tries to attack her, Veruca grabs her sword and pushes her away. Poe saves Luthera from Veruca and the strange man ties them up. He approaches them with blades and Luthera escapes and pushes him away. She frees Poe and they run into the sandstorm. Rabia drags them underground as the strange man walks to them. She tells them that the tunnel is her home and takes them to a safe exit. She gives them the map and Luthera says Poe can hold it as they travel together. Rabia returns to the town and meets her parents. The strange man emerges and attaches his blades to his head. He bends and asks Rabia to help him find his friend. Thera remembering when her elder brother Alfie was training. Alfie blindfolds himself and dodges several traps, but gets distracted and gets hit. He sees Luthera and says she should be in class. She tells him she wants to become a knight, but he says their parents won't agree because it is too dangerous. He tells her to enjoy being a child and she says she has been a child for eight years. Poe throws a sandball at her and wants to have fun, but she refuses. She says that Klaus and Veruca are aware of their presence and are probably trying to kill them. Meanwhile, the strange man asks Rabia where Poe and Luthera are headed, and she refuses to tell him. He ties her parents and threatens to hurt them if she doesn't talk. She draws a map similar to the one Poe and Luthera use and says he can use it to find them. In the desert, Luthera says they don't stand a chance against Klaus and Veruca if they don't get to the whip. Poe suggests they rest during the day and travel at night, but she says it's a bad idea and their situation is dire. Young Luthera complains to Alfie and says she's tired of school. She says she has to be smart if she wants to be a knight. And she says she's already smart. He instructs her to fetch water from the well and bring it to him without touching the pails. Luthera tries several methods, but none of them work and she says the task is impossible. Alfie tells her to calm down and says several knights gave up while trying the task. She says she won't be a failure, and she and Poe find a plant. They drink its juice, and Poe uses the leaf for surfing down the sand. Luthera says he should stop messing around, and he says he is using the plant to conserve energy. They continue walking, but get exhausted and stop to rest. The strange man continues pursuing them from a distance, and Klaus and Veruca follow him. Poe and Luthera stare at their stars, and she says they are similar to the stars in England. She calls them by their names and says it's Latin. Young Luthera makes a plan and hires a man to fetch the water and take it to her brother. He's impressed, but says she has one more challenge. Luthera and Poe arrive at a location on the map and wonder where the city is. They see all the figures on the map, but still can't find the lost city. Poe says the more they try to control something, the more it controls them, and he slides down the sand. Luthera gets annoyed, but they find an oasis. Klaus and Veruca continue following the strange man and say they will use him to get the whip. He suddenly disappears and as they've searched for him, he reappears and points his blade at them. Veruca threatens to use the gauntlet to attack him, but Klaus suggests they work together and he agrees. Poe and Luthera walk around the oasis and search for the city. A giant rock monster emerges and attacks them. It grabs Poe and Luthera tries to fight it, but it grabs her. Poe realizes that the monster might be the city and climbs into its mouth against Luthera's wishes. He jumps down its throat and Luthera enters its mouth. She remembers her last task, which was to climb out of a well. Luthera pulls out some bricks and successfully climbs out. Alfie advises her and says the only way out is through. Luthera decides to follow Poe and jumps down the rock monster's throat. She arrives at a giant uninhabited city and sees Poe. They walk around the city and see the whip in the mouth of a statue. 
Poe asks Luthera to be careful as she retrieves it from the statue's mouth. Nothing happens as she retrieves the whip, but they hear a strange laugh. A woman emerges and says she's worse than the traps and continues laughing. The end. Thank you so much for watching, check out these other videos, and make sure to subscribe and tap that bell to be notified about our latest videos. We'll see you next time.